Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are just doing some makeup therapy together. I feel like I just needed to sit down, hang out with you guys, try out some new products that I actually purchased at Target yesterday. If you guys are interested, make sure you guys do hit subscribe, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just hang out and do some makeup together. I know I look really rough right now. Believe me, I know. What is one thing that just makes everybody feel so much better? Makeup. At least for me, makeup always makes me feel better. So I just figured, I'm not going to lie, I kind of just want to sit down and just have like a really real, real just hangout session with you guys. And I'm not going to do a lot of editing. This isn't going to be a whole lot of basically anything. It's just going to be me sitting down. Let's just do our makeup together. Let's chill. Let's just... Let's have some makeup therapy together. I feel like that is the best thing to do when you are feeling down, insecure, anything. So we're going to be playing with some makeup. We are just going to be hanging out and that is what we are going to be doing. So make sure that if you guys do have anything, anything that you want to hang out, anything you want to take your mind off of, this is a safe space. Come on in. I already washed my face. If you're having a bad day, the best thing you can do is wash your face. I'm going to go in with the NYX Marshmallow this is their primer. It's like one of their newer primers. I really like it. I feel like it is, it, it's super hydrating at its pore filling. It's basically like everything you'd want in a actual primer. They actually sell the Juno on, oh my god, why can't I talk? It's because I'm stressed, that's why. But they sell the Juno and Co sponges there right now, which is like the microfiber. So they have the lemon drop one and then they also had like the lavender one too. So I picked that up while I was at Target. I also got my hands on the e.l.f. Camo Cream CC uh, foundation, which is like basically sold out everywhere too. They literally did not have that much at my Target. I actually had to go to the one on the other side of town to get it. I also picked up the e.l.f. This is the Bite Size Face Duo in Guava. And then I also picked up the Bite Size Shadows in sh Cream and Sugar. So I got that. And then I got my Tried and True, my Breakup Proof Liner. Last time I was there, I accidentally grabbed the actual like pen, not like the felt tip, but like the actual like pen. Um, and then look at how cute these earrings are. I got these earrings, which has an eyelash stuck to the back. But I got these earrings, they're originally 20. I got them in sale for $6, super cute. So I'm trying not to use retail therapy as a therapy. I'm trying to use makeup as a therapy, but let me tell you, it's really hard. So let's go in with the sponge. So we're gonna grab this. Do I have to wet this? Makeup ready sponge. So I don't wet it. I feel like I should wet it, right? Whatever, I don't know. Do I wet it? I think I wet it. I feel like with makeup sponges, you almost always wet it. But like, look how cute this is. It's literally perfect. Let me, I'll be right back. Let me go wet this. So I wet it. I don't know if I was supposed to wet it. It really doesn't feel any bigger. Honestly, I'm not really here for it, but whatever. It doesn't, it's not like as soft. Like I like the, the feeling of the actual sponge, like the texture of it, but like the actual like bounciness of it, I'm not here for. Um, but we'll see. I might like it once it's on my face. I might also just be in a terrible mood. So we'll see. This is the e.l.f. concealer or camo. It's not a concealer. This is the e.l.f. CC cream that everybody's been like ranting and raving about. I just got whatever color was closest. This is the shade 280N. Basically, oh my god, that's probably gonna be a little too dark. Well, maybe not. On my hand it looks a little dark, but my spray tan is also fading, so who knows. Oh, that's really dark. Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? It's supposedly supposed to be hydrating because it has collagen and it has niacinamides in it, which are supposed to be like super this is borderline offensive, um, but it has like a lot of really nice ingredients in it. It does retail for $14, which to me seems a bit expensive for e.l.f., but if, it, if they have better ingredients, I will pay for better products. You know, like I'm not one to ever complain about that kind of stuff. Also, I'm not sure I really like this sponge. But again, I don't know. Was I supposed to wet the sponge? I'm not, I don't know. But how's everybody else doing today? Is everybody else having a better day than I am? I hope everybody's having a better day than I am. But you know what? Some days and sometimes when you're having really rough days, you just got to remember like 
it will be okay. You know, it, it may not seem like it today and it may not seem like it tomorrow, but it will get better. And, you know, as long as you surround yourself with people who like really, truly love and support you, like it will get better. You know, it's just takes time. And, um, you know, I, 27 years old, and I'm telling you, no matter how bad of a day I'm having, how down I feel, surrounding myself with family, surrounding myself with friends, that always makes you feel so much better because you surround yourself with people who truly understand you for who you are versus maybe people who don't understand you all the time. It can be tough, you know? It can be really tough. Um, I don't hate this sponge, but I kind of hate it. Not gonna lie. I feel like it's just, I feel like this foundation is just kind of giving me a little bit of like extra texture, which isn't cute. So that's all right. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's definitely full coverage for like a CC cream. It's definitely full coverage. Um, and I know again that it has a lot of really nice things in it. So it's supposed to be beneficial that way. Concealer, I'm just gonna go in with the Fit Me because we got bags under our eyes, not sleeping well last night, so we're gonna conceal away our emotions. Maybe I should have grabbed the purple one. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem right now, is that I should have just grabbed the purple sponge, but instead I grabbed the white one. I mean, the, <laughs> the yellow one. Oh my god, I literally just dropped everything. Going with my NYX bronzer, I'm just lightly gonna bronze everything with like this fluffy brush that I have. I don't know what brand it is, I think it's from Shop Miss A, but I don't know. Kind of going all over the perimeters of my face, especially my big old forehead. I feel like when it comes to foundations, like the biggest thing when it comes to different types of foundations and trying different found... I can't talk today, but trying different foundations, sometimes the best thing to do is try new things, but with the same products that you always use because you gotta make sure that the products that you already like play well with these products. And let's say you like the foundation, but your bronzer doesn't look good with it, or your highlighter or your concealer doesn't always look good with it, then keep using the foundation, but maybe just replace the item that doesn't look as good, you know? I don't know if that was a good piece of advice or if I'm just talking on my ass because I don't know what else to talk about. So I did pick up one of the blushes from the Animal Crossing collection. So this is the Flower Power Blush. I like it, but I was not expecting it to be as glittery as it was. I like the color and I'm definitely like a blush person. Like I love blush. I also really like that with this blush palette, they also included a mirror, which is always really nice. I'm just like looking. So I'm kind of going in pretty heavy with my brush, but I just want to see if maybe like any of the glitter that's on it like kicks off. Like maybe it just might be What's it called? Like a, like a spray over. But I'm gonna probably have a lot of blush on this brush now. But I really like it. It's like a really beautiful, like dainty pink. It's very nice. I've also been really liking the Milani blush. It's like a cream blush. They are so good. I will say it time and time again, Milani just really knows how to do face products. I feel like their foundations are always really good. Their concealers are always really good. Definitely one of like my top favorite brands for blush. And especially if you're like, you are looking for something like that, well, it's a good brand to start with because it's inexpensive, so. I like it. It might just be a little too light for me because of how dark that foundation was. But good news, we got this which is their dupe. I don't remember what this color was a dupe for. I feel like it was like a Chanel brand or like a Marc Jacobs brand. I'm not quite sure. And right now, I just took off all my acrylic nails, so my nails are just like a freaking disaster. So if you see them, girl, I know. I know they look bad. I don't know how this looks. Does this blush look okay? There's like a pull tab. I'm an idiot. Wait, no, there's not. Hold on. I am literally gonna break this before I actually even open it. Finally got her open. I'm gonna go in with the guava shade. Holy crap, that kicked back a lot of pigment. And I'm just gonna tuck it kind of like in the back part, cheekbone part, whatever part this is in my cheek. And if I look crazy like I have a lot of blush on, mind your business, you know? Sometimes blush is the only thing that makes us ladies feel better. Like we got life, 
left in us. Okay, and then I also got in this collection, I got the What a Hoot palette. Um, but I think I'm just going to do an all over like wash a color. This is what this one looks like. I love this one. Um, I know Ulta just released all of them today, but I don't feel like going. So we're working with what we got. We're going to go in with the What a Hoot palette, which is the brown one. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go into Celestial, which is this orange shade right here. I am not going to lie. This shade has a lot of kickback so if that is something that you don't like that may not be for you but I'm just going to take this put it all over my lid and you can see like that just went on so effortless effort effort effortlessly that's what I'm trying to say and again I really like that even with these little palettes they included these mirrors it's Quite nice. I'm then going to take the exact same brush, but I'm going to kind of dab it on the edge. And I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go into the shade Who, which is this dark brown. And I'm just going to lightly take it again on the edge. And I'm just going to tuck it in right here. This one's getting a little chunky, but that's okay. I probably should have used a different brush, but what are you going to do now? I'm going to do a little bit more but I'm just gonna focus this on the outer edge on my lower lash line. I look crazy. But then, I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, it's called Meteor Shower. It's such a beautiful, like, glitter blend. It is honestly so stunning. I am gonna use this probably for the rest of my life or until it's gone because this glitter and, like, how well it sticks just by using my finger. It's beautiful. It's literally so beautiful. It's chunky, yet it's subtle. It's natural, if that even makes sense. It's just beautiful. It honestly is probably one of the best shades out of all of the palettes. And I like that each palette does include a glitter, but this one I think is so gorgeous. And especially if you're more of like a natural girl, like you like the more neutrals, you like the more wearable shades, this is definitely where it's at for you. It's so subtle, yet it's just so much. Like, it just really speaks volumes to me. I also picked up the new L'Oreal, this, right, this is L'Oreal, yeah, the new L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara. So I've used this for a couple days, okay? So with mascaras, I feel like mascaras are so personal, person to person. That's what personal means. I think it retailed for $10.99, so it's pretty affordable. Yeah, I really like it. I, I think that, well, I'll show you what it looks like. I do naturally have a little bit of a longer lash. My lashes definitely aren't full, so I go for more of the volumizing and lengthening. So this is my eye with just one coat. And I'll kind of show you guys the difference. This is just one coat of the mascara. This one obviously doesn't have anything on it. This is also my skin with the foundation and the primer mixture. It's nice. I like it. I will definitely say that if you are even remotely oily, this probably isn't going to be for you. But it does give you like more of that like your skin but better type of look. I definitely like it. I think it looks really nice, really natural. Maybe if I use like a mattifying primer with this foundation, it would be nicer. But it's definitely on the oily side. So if you are dry, this is going to be a good one for you. I'm excited to see how this is in the summertime because as weird as it sounds I kind of like the more dewy foundations in the summertime I feel like it just makes your skin look super glowy and like gorgeous but yeah so that is really quite a beautiful eye look if I say so myself um let's do my brows I'm going to show you guys how I do like my natural brow this is more or less the brow that I actually do when I'm like going to work or I'm just like quickly throwing something together when I'm not like trying to do a full brow underline, but I'm kind of doing it pretty thick. And I'm gonna just go to the tail of my brow. So you can see even with that, that just adds a little bit more like dimension to my eye brow. I'm then gonna take the brush and I'm just going to fan this up and kind of like bring it through my brow. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Brow. <laughs> going to take my got to be glued. I'm gonna go onto the spoolie that's already literally covered and got to be glued. 
I probably should wash it, but I don't want to right now, so I'm not going to take it. That's way too much. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna fan that up like so. And that is basically all I do. So it's like giving me a brow, but it's not giving me a brow, you know? Final piece of the puzzle, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. This is Cosmo Pink, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Pink Cosmo, it's actually called. I'm just gonna put some gloss on. But anyways, let's actually put some earrings in too. That'll make me feel good. I feel like with this black shirt, maybe like the leopard would look nice or should I put the black in? Mm, mm hmm Okay, well, do I feel a little bit better? Yeah, I do feel a little bit better. I maybe don't feel better quite like emotionally and I'm also not gonna do my hair so what you see is what you get, but Honestly, I feel just a little bit better just because physically I feel better. So we're not going to complain about this look too much. I mean, it's definitely wearable. It's definitely beautiful. There's a couple things we didn't use from yesterday's haul from Target. But overall, it's pretty good. So is this a cute look? No? Yes? Whatever. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, if you are having a bad day, have a better one. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys next week for another upload. Bye, guys.